sitting alone in my house a few years ago, late at night, I was thinking back to this incident and I realized how it never really leaves me as some of these incidents don't. So I wrote him a letter, this person, Ode to Private Brainless. Oh, who were you? Eye to eye, one must die, but why? I still have that grenade you threw at me. It was a dud. But the bullets that blew your brains out through that gaping exit hole in your face were no duds, now were they? And I took your death picture, captured your soul. Ah, but I didn't know then that you'd still be with me today, more than 40 years now. I touched you, counted coup. Fuck you, better you than me, something like that. Shit, too bad, man. A real bummer, wasn't it? You still speak today through the series of photographs I took of you, of your demise, your final act, a whole series from various angles and distances, even one posed with me in it with you. Ecstatically shocking, drama unmatched. Clear, concise, universal speak, predictable horror shock. Hits a nail on the head. Sorry, couldn't help it. You've reached out and touched so many people all these years, and me too. Such an impact. Perhaps through my photographs, you say more to more people in a more poignant way than you ever could have if we had not killed you on that day. In that jungle ravine behind that bunker you were guarding on the 29th of September, 1968. But who's counting, right? Certainly not the other eight comrades exiting that bunker right on your heels to meet the same fate and lay in the same jungle jumble twister game like contorted human pile up with you. If it's any consolation, one of your partners shot the Marine on my right. He died in my arm, gasping for the breaths which the hole in his lung and chest denied him. At least he had time to make his peace and face his death. But is that any better than the immediate lights out of your fate? His name was Gary, and he was an only child. And you, who were you? What was the anguished name shriek, muffled scream your mother involuntarily chanted upon learning of your death? What name appears on the headstone under the obligatory title of Lietzi, People's Martyr? Standing marker over a bodiless grave somewhere back home. I used to laugh and make fun of you, gallows humor. I named you my friend Private Brainless. Then for a while I used our photographs to convey my disgust for war. I bet you'd agree with that one, huh? Then I kind of just forgot all about us and our photographs taken together on that September day so long ago. But somehow, you're still right here with me, even now. Talk to you later, Private Brainless.